This is a Vantura camper van. It is a 541 centimeter long vehicle. And this is the shortest vehicle you can get as a pro well, proper height camper van, a real camper van uh, from Vantura. Uh, uh, Vantura uh, manufacture in Germany and uh, they do the various types of vehicles which I shall demonstrate uh, once I've finished showing you this one. Now what's interesting with this rear end is that this bed will go up and down. Might have to come out to actually show it to you properly but it's a it's a movable bed and that's great for the storage capacity at the back anyway we'll have a look at that as a from 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 the rear here's a tiny uh, wardrobe of course it's going to be tiny because this is a tiny van in my opinion 541 centimeters uh, i'm a snob so i don't consider it a vehicle to be a camper van unless it's got one of these so toilet and uh a little shower the shower is not very big but then again what else does can one have in such a small size here's something new which is the uh, um, the, the profile shape of the, the the seat I mean lots of people complain at the size of a uh, uh, camper van um, seats that they go up go straight up well, this one here is a bit more uh, um, profiled. Uh, this thing here, as I see, has diesel heating, uh, something at Vantura pushes because uh, it gives you more space if you don't have to store gas. Also, it's easier, I think, if you don't have to, uh, to, to, to carry it around. One bad thing, of course, is that the price of diesel has gone up now much more. Uh, diesel is much more calorific. I still don't know though if it's cheaper than using gas or not. It, well, it, a, a diesel heater though is actually now uh, cheaper than a gas heater. Let's open one of these things up to see what the quality is like. Uh, personally, I don't like that at all because look at this great space here. You may say, oh, well, it just makes it heavier. Uh, but what happens is stuff just falls out. You see there's a gap down there. And as the vehicle shakes around, things fall down the gap. Uh, it's also got this daft shelf. Can't see the point of that at all. So what's that designed for? Wouldn't it have been better if you're going to have it, just bring this thing here down, this thing here down, and make that would have more storage up there. Ledge on that. Not terribly impressive. To be quite honest. All right. Um, put some light switches here. Have the lights on. Oh, I didn't turn the lights on. Okay, sorry. Uh, Twelve volts and uh, two hundred and thirty. Oh, look at that. Sorry, I should have done this earlier and shown you this. So anyway, there's another look. I know it's got the same floor as Knaus in theirs and two two um, drainage holes. Uh, Vantura is actually owned by Knaus anyway. This is the Knaus Hall in uh, at uh, Caravan Salon, and I'm going to say this is that this here, the it's n that in my opinion that is not very deep, and in a vehicle, uh, if, and when you never parked, it'd be bad enough at home, but in a vehicle when you never get anywhere sort of to park, which is flat, oh that seems that way anyway, then the water is just going to splash out. Uh, sink here and a molded sink same the canals i mean canals uh, uh uh washrooms appear to be uh, almost identical sorry i should have turned the light on before and uh so, sometimes i start to i'm so so used to not like being i'm um, often they um disable the electrics in the vehicle at events like this so this one here is on a six speed speedboard, say six speed gearbox. Look at that! Really see that? It's got a Fiat van now. If you actually managed to produce a van, 
Oh, that's amazing, aren't we? Uh, there's a Fiat van here at Dusseldorf. Sorry, that's a little bit, bit of a joke. The reason I meant to make this uh, rather weak uh, humour uh, joke is because of uh, Fiat has all sorts of difficulties at the moment in production. So, uh, right, we've got um, got this. That is why, incidentally, you will see at this event or uh, on the road. I mean, this event will be well over next year's event, um, but maybe something will have happened by the time we get next year. But on the road, on new vehicles, in showrooms, you will see very few Fiat uh, vehicles compared to what it was before. Now we can have a look here at the back. What have we got here? We've got bunk beds. So this one will go up and this one uh, will stay there. Now these beds will of course cut, well this, this bottom one will come out completely and uh, that's what I would suggest you do because having four people in a vehicle uh, which is 541 centimeters high is not a good idea. Uh, right, one thing I will point out, notice the lack of a gas cupboard and that is because uh, gas which tends to be more used for heating than for cooking, that's the way it works out, is um, it's here, it's uh, heated via diesel. And uh, right, another good point, insulated uh, fresh water tank, which is there, it's, oh. And let's have a look and see if this is insulated. It isn't. So, the doors aren't insulated. Well, this, this, this is the difference between those vehicles uh, which are more expensive because they're doing full insulation. Uh, it's a, a lot of work, and uh, that this is, and people say that isn't worth it. I mean, most of the cost is in um, things which you can't see at all the chassis, uh, whether you know the, the electrical installations. All right, I'm going to show you around their, uh, their, um, their, their stand here, uh, which isn't particularly large. Uh, they don't have many vehicles, which is a good, good thing, showing that they can actually um, concentrate. This thing here, 61,500 euros on a 636 centimeter van. And this at the back. Uh, take you down to the back. I've got the this um, flexible this this uh, bed that goes up and down, but it's in a lengthwise direction, and under it slatted beds and a net. Uh, fortunately, there's no net at the back to stop the insects getting in, so we can't have everything, I suppose. But the advantage of this, I think that bunk system is totally daft, and you've got all that space there to play with. And you can, as the water tank has been opened you can also check to see how much water is in there uh, right let's go and have a look at this one here uh, six meter vehicle and uh, right please disinfect your hands so I'm going to do that I do this all over the place good that's that taken care of now this thing here has got a tent in the roof and uh, I I personally have my doubts about tents in the roof, but I was talking to someone today, he said he have been doing them for years and hasn't had any complaints. Uh, what we've got here, this you see here that the chairs will actually uh, come apart, so you get, don't want to be too close to the person uh, you're sitting next to, then you can actually do that. Right, what is the shower tray doing here? That's a good question, I'm going to try and find, find out what the answer is. So if we open the door here, that opens, hang on, what's this? What has happened here? Why is the shot and turn here? Because some of these, uh, all right. Ah, I see, sorry, the other, the other part of the door will go back down there. And then we have a curtain which comes out to give us a bigger shower. So the shower, in fact, is in two parts. It's not two showers. Uh, but it's a two <laughs> two part of shower. See the curtain will come round. Alright, so I'm not going to actually open the back part of the door. Uh, 
I've noticed a lot of stuff is broken, but you can you can sort of tell that it's uh, this this part here comes away. So that gives you a, a four um, drainage hole shower, and I don't think this is such a bad idea. Actually, you've got a small vehicle, and so why not make the shower even bigger? So that that uh, that really is thinking outside the box. Um, although I can see uh, uh, this thing here in time, not only with trailing all sorts of stuff in uh get stuck on your feet and shoes and what have you ending up down there so i'd rather have, i'd rather have plugs there one and also i can see the tray uh in time also getting damaged uh steps up to the bed but oh yeah that really is original though let's face it anyway Right, so we'll come around here. We'll have a look in the back of this six meter vehicle here. It's got an enormous bed in the back. I don't know if you're supposed to sleep in it long ways or sideways. Uh, the bed itself also, of course, will come up like that, giving you a lot of space here as well. So that um, I think is uh, it's good for storing things such as bicycles which will go in the back something of this nature will cost 80,131 oh dear and it's got this uh, bathroom system as well again That is a car with a kitchen. Somebody's put the bike in the back. Well, well done for getting the bike in. You know, I had all sorts of problems getting my bike when I had a I had a bigger van as well. I couldn't get the bike in it without taking the wheel off. So congratulations. Let's walk around here and see what we see. Well, we've got there. Oh, the kitchen looks quite nice. Totally impractical because it hasn't got a cover. Uh, um, sink here and there's a fridge down there. For the cost of something like this, well, one could definitely have a proper camper a van. Uh, on, on the seats here, there'll be a mattress top somewhere which one can put over. It's on a Mercedes. It'll end up costing a fortune. Urban, it's called, uh, but urban it isn't because uh, if you leave a van in the street, then it could be that nobody will notice, but leaving a car, particularly if you put the tent in the roof, uh, that will uh, not um to go unnoticed anyway so i'll uh, come around the back and uh, you've got a bit of storage there put the seats down make the bed no toilet no uh, shower no nothing and oh this is what it's going to look like in some cases so you can get a workstation inside an office inside yeah i quite like the idea of putting an office inside this thing's going to cost from eighty thousand euros and uh, you know you get a you could get a five-year-old car to go for that price, which I think would be a better bet. Right, let's come back to what I started off as the uh, star of this event, which is this Van Tura with the double bed in the back. And uh, if you found this interesting, then thanks very much for watching. You might want to subscribe. And uh, if you do, then, then you, you might want to press the bell as well, because that way you'll find out when I am uploading material but i'll tell you what it is now it's 21 15 every day but sometimes in other days i do live broadcasts i've done live well i did one live broadcast i mean i try to do another but the internet uh, let me down but i do them from time to time all the best from me in just love thanks for being here